Why, thank you. All right, man. So, dude, you, uh, are you in a trade right now? You want to talk about the TAP program officially? Let me see. Hold on. Let me, uh, let me, let me get a drink real fast, man. My brain. I haven't even eaten yet all day. Today has been a crazy scalping day. There's been crazy opportunities that we'll go into that. Give me one minute. Let me grab a tea. Sounds good, buddy. $6,200 is awesome. All right. I'm, ex I'm, I, I'm thinking that if I know Bao correctly, he's getting one of those iced teas. I, I, I'm assuming he's going to come back with one of those bottled iced teas. <laughs> yep. I review them every day. Thanks to all you post here. Awesome, man. Yeah. You know what, guys? One of the quickest ways to learn is just, again, use our resources. Go to the chart recaps and fills. Go to the MIC archive. Uh, Xander, now that you're annual, bro, you should live in the MIC archive, bro. Live in that thing. Um, what you're going to notice is, is Alex's charts, endless examples of stuff moves, of breakouts, of, you know, nailing and bailing under VWAP. Dude, live in the MIC archive right now if you just went annual. Or you are an annual and you haven't utilized that. Yep. All right, guys. I'm going. <laughs> What's up, brother? Yeah, one quick comment about the Cobra account. Yep. At MIC, I mean, dude, of course we could trade with million dollar accounts. I mean, some of these guys on Twitter, you see them trade with like $10 million accounts and they're up and down a million dollars a day. Yep. But that's not realistic for what we do as a mentor. Because you guys don't have freaking a million dollars in your account, right? If you did, you probably wouldn't fucking join us to learn. You probably, would. but there are people with millions of dollars account that that don't know what they're doing, and they join us to learn. But to be realistic, most of you guys are around thirty thousand, right? So let's take a poll, guys. Let's take a poll and just type in how big is your account. If if you want to share your account, we want to show the world other traders, what's the average account? Because that's what I'm aiming for. At MIC, we're trying to teach you guys to trade. And we're being realistic, man. We're not fucking trading in millions of dollars. I mean, we could, but that doesn't really help you, right, guys? So take a look at this. So so these are the average account accounts. So, so it's very realistic. But what I'm doing to educate you is no bullshit. I mean, we're, I'm using a freaking thirty something thousand dollar Cobra account to do these trades, right, guys? So this is pretty much what you can do. Oh, the only difference is I just freaking make a lot more trades because I'm, I'm more experienced. But uh, the techniques, the strategies, the process we teach you is very much aligned in line with your trading account size. So, I mean, so I, I mean, I see these guy guys posting hundreds of thousand dollars of PLs on Twitter. I'm like, dude, okay, it's good for you, but are their members actually learning this shit? You know, it's, it's unrealistic, right guys? It's fucking unrealistic. So yep. Alice and I actually trade with a small account. I mean, a realistic, I mean, small is relative, right guys? Small is relative. So we trade with a realistic account at Cooper to show you that, you know, this is, we're doing exactly what you're doing. We don't have any special privileges at Cooper, by the way, guys. I don't fucking have low case that they saved me. I, we actually get no special treatment. <laughs> like, dude, that'd be nice. I wish we did. <laughs> Seriously, dude, we don't get, I mean, a chat of, we don't get any special treatment. That's because, you know what, man, we, we do what you guys do. I don't like to cheat, guys. I definitely do not like to fucking cheat. Um, you imagine that I come and I'll hog all the low case and I'm getting a little cheap and then I'm trying to, trying to teach you how to shorten the stock, but it's unrealistic because I got located really cheap, you know, so I'm saying differently than you do. So the whole point of MIC, once again, I don't want to keep telling you this. We are the most transparent and the most, in my opinion, the most honest people out there because we do what, what we say we do. We teach you the same methods and strategies that we do. We don't pump, we don't alert and all that stuff, guys. So, you know, I, I hate showing p &L. It doesn't really show any much because it doesn't really tell you what, you know, you got lucky or not, but the charts show a lot. And the fact that everyone sees what the equity I had starting the day that, you know, so basically what I'm going to do is this guy. So every Wednesday, what I'm going to show every Wednesday, the Cobra account and what I did that day. So, like so, that. so, you know, every week come back to see how I did on that day for that one account. Right. And so that's the whole point. I mean, that, I mean, that, that's, that one account today made me more money than I did a whole month at my engineering job when I started out. Right. Okay? So, this is very, very realistic. So I hope you're motivated by the fact that you can do this, guys, that the strategies do work. And these strategies work on a grand scale level. They're scalable strategies. They're not fucking the scalping shit that people are talking about. People, people talk about scalping, but you know what, man? Fuck, if I can make 20 cents five times as a dollar versus trying to hold that position for a dollar, which 
How, how many times that happened to you, Tosh? That you hold a fucking small cap edition dollar and then you make a dollar, right? <laughs> dude, <laughs> dude, and not even just that, because it goes back to what you were saying about account size, Bell. It's like, the dude, the bigger your account is, there's been times where I've had way too much of my account. And I was like, dude, then I would hold for a dollar and try to milk two dollars. And I would end up with a loss because, oh, you know what? Fuck it. I've got a lot in my account. And I think going back, I'm so happy that everybody posts these numbers because, dude, if someone posted literally like two with an M after it, not a K, like two million, but we would, the first news that we would tell you is wire it the fuck out. You don't need it. Like, like, dude, we don't want you guys over leveraging yourselves or putting yourselves in danger of look what's possible with a 30 K account. I'm so glad no one put like, Hey, I got a $1 million account because we don't want to see that dude. We would tell you to wire it out and protect yourself. Like a hundred K Peter is probably the most I want to see in there. Like do the uh, most because what, it's what, not what, needed. What, once again, there's many different ways to trade guys If you're swinging and you're investing, sure, put in $100,000, million. It's totally different. But for, yeah, day, yeah. trading, but for day trading like this, you know, I'm just being realistic, guys. Most, most, most members have around $30,000, $50,000 to trade. So I am trying to create strategies and processes so that it matches you guys. Not trying to create a process for a guy that has a $10 million account, which I can if I wanted to. I've traded ridiculously large before, right? And the, but that's not the point of the MIC. The MIC is not for me to promote how awesome of a trader I am, but, but the point of MIC is to mentor you so that you can grow your thirty, forty thousand dollar account every day like we, we've been doing here. Knock on wood, right? Knock on wood. Absolutely. So, all right. So let's get back to the TAP program. Uh, one, of the, one of the reasons I'm successful for this long, I mean, that's the thing, man. First of all, like, you got to stay humble, guys. I, I credit pretty much everybody else except myself. You guys know that I, I credit Alex. I credit the tab. I credit Tosh. I credit the moderators for the success with MIC. I credit everybody except myself. Because dude, you know Bow, is, Bow does not know how to pat himself on the back, dude. We, me and Alex try to teach him like to give himself props all the time. It's, you know what it is though, man? That's because the moment I become cocky, I, I start to lose. And I haven't lost in a while. And then I got, I got clipped a big loss um, last week. And it kind of spooked me. That's because I, I was on like a three, four month streak, right? And I was like very arrogant. And so I was like, I, I would never want to go back to, back to that place. I, I feel so, you, but yeah. So exactly. So I hear members are doing these things like calling the broker to remove the hard, uh, the max daily loss shit. And, then and so some, some member sadly was, had a 5,000 max daily loss. He removed it and ended up losing $30,000. Yeah. And it's a shame. It fucking, it, it makes, it, it kind of hurts me, right? Because I can recover. I have no problem. But some people can never, ever recover. And it's very sad. And so that's why risk management is a big deal. And that's why having a tab is a big deal because you guys are all my tabs. Alex is like, what the fuck are you doing, Val? Why are you trading? <laughs> you know? So I kind of like, <laughs> even though I break my, I break my own, you know, I have bad habits. I, at least a reminder kind of like snaps you back to reality. And that's the tab program. The tab program is to have someone to be accountable to. Because if you're not accountable to anybody, you're going to hide your losses. You're going to pretend you're the shits, but then, but really losing behind the scenes. And then you're never going to learn anything. That's why you see all these guys, they keep making excuses every time they lose. Whereas we, we fucking own our losses. I have fucking like, dude, it's embarrassing as hell to lose. You know, I, you know, it's embarrassing as hell to break, break your rules. You know, but I show it, you know, it's fucking sucks. One bad loss is not going to define who I am as a person. Right. And so that's why you got, you have to remember, you have to remember the fact that guys, this, this is a long, long war. This is not, this is a marathon. This is not a sprint guys. It is not a sprint. Hold on. Let me play some. <laughs> I heard them. <laughs> dude. I fucking heard them. <laughs> Hold on. Just, you know what? This is so. I'm looking at the clock. It's 3 p.m. I'm going to cover up my shit. I'm going to cover up my fucking stocks, which I should not have been in. So this is part of the process we teach, right? So there's certain time-based rules that are, that give it an advantage to longs or shorts, right? And so at this point, I'm not going to fucking fuck up my day by by being I'm calling Alex on you, Val. I'm calling Alex right now. I'm getting him on speed dial. Because you know what, man, I, I did great on this tiny account, you know, $31,000 account up $6,400, $6,500. I mean, that, to me, that's phenomenal. I mean, that's 20 fucking percent, right? So how did I do that? I didn't even know I made that, by the way, guys. I'm just focused on the process. I'm focused on the rules, you know. When I, the only time I really look is when I close a trade or when I fuck up. So that's another clue. 
when when you start to fucking start to look at your P now and start to do fucking research, you know you, should, you need to fuck out of the trade, man. It's like you should have done this shit before you get to the trade, right? Yeah, well, we, well, we usually say it like this, man. When you're doing fundamental research while you're already in a trade, you're fucked. If you do it beforehand, you know you got a plan. But when you're rushing to the SEC filings, when you're down two grand, oh, dude, that, exactly, man. That that that's that's you know that that's what Alex says all the time too. When you fucking feel your blood pressure rise, you know you're fucking up, right? For me, it's when I start digging into filings, <laughs> looking for reasons. To hold on to this fucking loser, that's when I know I fucked up. I should have looked at this shit before, you know. So those are the fucking signals. And so when I'm, so I'm like, I'm, you know, I'm looking at the, when I'm looking at the clock right now. So I, I shouldn't be in any trades. I'm not in any trades. I got out of most positions already. So I am fucking good to go, guys. I have a tiny ass position left, and so I want to put put a cover on it, which I fucking should have. Guys, yes, we'll we'll title the video of this FOMO today because Dow just made twenty percent on his entire account. Yeah, he's still trading during. Dow, <laughs> like, yeah. oh, you're a crack up, dude. Freaking make sixty two hundred twenty percent on his thirty thousand dollar account. Insane, bro. Oh, you know, once again, yeah, you know, you, you can have as big of an account as you want. I I specifically keep this account small just to just so that I know how to educate you guys. Absolutely. You know, that's the whole thing. Um, you know, behind the scenes could be a fucking giant ass account. I have another account. You know, it doesn't matter. But the point is, you know, if, if, if I could do it with this account, you guys can do it too, guys. And so making $1,000 a day is life changing. Let me, let me pull up that, that stat again, man. Because this is what I wanted to show you guys. The 252. Oh, yeah, dude. Pull that up. People underestimate that tweet. Yeah, it's the best tweet that's ever been created in the history of tweets. Here we go. Yeah, this is Here, let me let me let me expand upon this, guys. Two hundred and fifty-two trading days a year, two hundred dollars a day is fifty k a year. You know most Americans don't even make sixty k a year. Four hundred dollars a day is a hundred k. One k is two fifty, and four k a day is a million fucking dollars, dude. A year. You think you can make two hundred bucks a day? Two hundred dollars a day is life changing, guys. Two hundred dollars a day enables you to go into any restaurant you want order any steak you want within a limit, of course, and don't have to worry about the bill. That to me is life's fucking changing. It's not about buying a Gucci belt every fucking day. You know, you could if you want, but for me, it's, it changes your whole life when you're able to enjoy fucking life and not have to worry about looking at the menu. That, that to me is a metaphor of life, guys. When uh, I hope you guys understand. So focus on making consistent gains, like start with $200 a day. And then when you become consistent with $200, increase your size. It's the same process. Right. It's the same exact process, guys, that, that yielded me 6000 today. That yielded me 200 bucks back in the day. So, so Bell, let's, let's get into how you got started with Alex, man, and what, like, how you guys grew as tab partners, because I don't think anyone's ever heard it from you directly. Uh, we, we we actually, just talked about it. Podcast. So the first podcast that we did, someone pull up, the, have a link, pull it up, guys. It's very interesting. So I don't want to get too much of that, but the, the key is – you know, you ever, ever, trading is a lonely fucking life, man. I, I hate it, man. I was suicidal. I made a lot of money and I was suicidal. It's not about the money. It got to the point where, you know, I, you know, this is stupid. I was so good at what I did back in the day because I didn't give a fuck. I would lose on purpose sometimes just to see if I could make money back. I would fuck around with the market makers just to fuck around with them. And, you know, and so it got to the oh point where, just, I mean, and then you, you, you just become like, Become a hermit. Imagine you do this for 15 years by yourself in a fucking office, right? You're going to go yourself nuts, dude. You're not, humans are not designed to fucking live in an island. You know, you, you end up being like that movie, Cast Away with Tom Hanks. <laughs> yeah, he went nuts. I, I, got, I got fucking friends here that are fucking, dude, I, I got little fucking animals on my fucking, on my fucking office here. Let me take a photo, man. <laughs> These are my fucking buddies, you know, back, you know. Here, let me show. I was got a whole petting zoo on his desk, huh? <laughs> Seriously, you know, look, look, look at these guys. You know, it's like <laughs> I love it. Oh man, this, this is, is a great podcast, by the way, guys. You have to listen to this. It's so freaking good, dude. So the whole point of this is we're human beings, guys. In order to trade well, we have to have be mentally fucking okay. You know, you, so I always tell people you have to be okay in your personal life. If you're fighting with your girlfriend, it's going to affect your trading. So make up with your fucking girlfriend. I don't fucking trade the next day. Seriously, dude. I fucking got something I gotta give her money for her to make up with me because I'll make more money in the market the next day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. I was like, here's fucking fired on. Go fucking shopping. Let me go make my th- let me go make my money. <laughs> I'm fucking you bitching me out, right? And so the whole point of a community, we need you need a community, man, because you know, you go to a nine to five job, people talk shit about nine to five job, but I love my nine to five job. The only problem is 
I reached a glass ceiling. I couldn't advance anymore. I made a shit ton of money, but I could never get into the management role because of whatever politics it may be, right? I'm not a, you know, I'm not their fucking management kind of material, right? I curse too much. I'm not Paul or shit like that. But so I did what I could do. And that made me a lot of money to enable me to, enabled me to trade, to learn. So do not quit your day job. How you get started is do not quit your day job. Use, use that money from your day job to fund your education, to fund your training account so that you can learn. And so the key is to learn in the beginning, you're not making, you're not gonna become fucking rich. You get, get that shit out of your mind unless you put fucking $50 into some shit coin and then wake up as a billionaire, right? <laughs> I mean, it happens, but fuck, ain't gonna happen to you. <laughs> you those, are, those are literally my favorite memes on the whole internet right now, bro, because you know everyone's chasing that shit. There's one guy, though, that turned $50 into like $3 million, and everybody's trying to be that guy. They won't. Yeah, they don't, you don't hear the stories about other guys and mortgages in their house and buy shit coins and they're dead, right? But so the whole point is, man, we need a community, guys. Seriously, I, I don't give a fuck what these guys on Twitter say. Oh, I learned on my own. These guys have been learning on their own for 20 years. They're still unsuccessful. They're still inconsistent. So, I mean, the, I hate guys that put 15 years trader experience, market maker, but they still are not consistent, not pro pro profitable. Who gives a fuck? I've been trading. I've been playing golf for, Jesus, 20 years. And I still suck. You know why? <laughs> you and me both. I never got, mentored. I never got mentored because I was fucking too arrogant. You have little kids better than I am. So it doesn't matter how long you've been trading. It's how long you've been trading correctly you know look at fucking barkley dude <laughs> like golf right <laughs> you know so ba basically you know the community aspect the tab aspect we're getting back to the tab it's very helpful because you know what man you help each other guys we, we are human beings so i don't care what these guys say they can they can just kiss my ass and not join they don't have to fucking join but the fact that they're trolling us it means that they're lacking community they're lacking someone to work with they're lacking human interaction that's why they troll trolls hate on people because they're lonely if they just fucking found a friend they wouldn't be trolling right oh, so that's wow. the aspect yeah. of the community guys seriously you know their trolls are just looking for community it happens to be a troll community out there and so they feel like they're part of the troll community hating on us shit like that right no that's what people don't understand dude when we first created mic guys we would have been happy with a hundred members bro it was never it was to give people a voice it was to create the best community where we could have fun dude it was it was about so we could all like have fun and joke together and make money together like dude people don't get that like oh yeah, man it blows my mind you got my trades here i think i'm done for the day Dude, it's sick. What is that? Lots? All right, let's see. Yeah, just, just cleaning up some fucking little minor shit. So I, I just do these because these, these are like fancy orders. I, was, I mean, I do small size now because at the end of the day and stuff like that. But you notice you just need one of these trades, guys. A thousand shares make – if you have to do a thousand shares, make 10 cents. That's 100 bucks. Do it two times a day. That's 200 bucks a day. And that's more than most people make. All right, guys? Just think about that, man. Two fucking trades. A thousand shares or 500 shares, 20 cents. I mean, 500 shares. Yeah, do the math. Toss, show, show the people math. Dude, guys, and with, with the right with the right entries, that's what we're getting at. You can't just do that without education because we do make it sound simple. It is simple, but with, with the right education. The reason why Bao's entries are usually spot on is because, dude, he only needs two of these a day with, say, 1,000 or 2,000 shares, but he knows where to do it. So when you guys try to do this yourself, you're giving back $200 a trade because you don't know where the entries or the lines or a this, certain... This is before MIC, no one knew how I did this shit. People <laughs> thought I had some fucking calculus PhD shit. You know, and when I told people, when I finally showed people how it was done, they all trolled us. They go, well, you stupid fuck. You, you're teaching people to draw lines and charging people? But look at my entries. My entries are fucking perfect. They're like top ticks every fucking time. Knock on wood. It fucking works, man. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck to tell you. I don't give a fuck. You know, keep it simple, stupid. Simplicity is the best shit. And this is why we're able to, to help so many people become successful. Dude, the, be the best part was is our trolls trolled us in the beginning because they literally couldn't fathom the fact that Bao was doing the most simplistic strategy possible, support and resistance. Then when they found out Bao was so profitable and so consistent over decades with just using support and resistance, when all they want to do is complicate and itchy mochi cloud and all that, we made them look stupid. Well, so the, the, thing was, us. the thing is, is no, everybody knows these tools, these indicators, whatever it may be. Everyone knows what they are. Right. How to use it, how to apply in a process is 
the million dollar fucking secret sauce, guys. It's not the fact that it's resistance and support. It's not the fact that it's pivot lines. It's not the fact that it's VWAP. It's the fact that how do you use all this information to create a consistent process that's repeatable that you can teach to the masses? That is why yeah. MIC kicking ass, dude. It's not because of support resistance. It's because of the fact that I figured out, you figured out, we figured out a way to create a process, a consistent process around it to make it work. Dude, there's so much combined because it's time-based trading. It's not, you know, fighting trend. It's following trend and it's doing the lines and it's doing support and resistance correctly. But it's, it may sound daunting to a trader who just doesn't understand any of this in the beginning. But dude, I, like obviously there's no guarantees in trading, but I promise you, dude, that this becomes second nature over the course of like a couple months. You literally look at a chart and you go, oh, I really understand it. Okay, because I've been following and learning good habits from day one. Oh, I get it because this core lines with that and this is the whole and a half dollar. I mean, look, dude, it's like, remember when you've been doing this long enough, I could pull up any chart that Bao does within a matter of minutes and i know i know what i was thinking because that's the mic process we teach you guys how to do a repeatable strategy not something like oh my god you have to figure out what he was thinking at this certain area and this and that because it's like what the hell was he doing no it's not like that you're not he's not throwing darts it's 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 expected what he's doing so he can expect good results from it like that's the whole point right what do you got next you closing out a trade Sure. Nice. Do another 300 bucks on that. That's awesome. Uh, I did more, but. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <all> <laughs> <I just got. laughs> oh, no, okay. <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, I just want to show you guys, I'm closing out this account um, for the day. So this is the Cobra account guys. Not too bad for this account today. You know, dude, solid 6,500 bucks, bro. What more can you ask for? Three, so, on a thirty-one thousand dollar account, guys. Someone do the exact percentage for us. Get us the exact percentage. Of what that is? I don't have access to a calculator right now. So each week, this might be fun. Each week, yeah, I'll show you guys what I did in that Cobra account. So, but each week, I think buddy out. So, but we we'll, we'll reset it down. But you'll see the equity. You'll see the fact that I'm trading the exact same way you guys are doing. Um, I just happen to fucking trust my lines, and I channel trade the fuck out of these stocks, right? <laughs> Yeah, absolutely, dude. I mean, it's, no, it's just process, right? It's like you said back in the day, it's like once I learned my process, I expect a paycheck from the markets every single day. So here, here, here is actually the, uh, the breakdown. I, I, so I lost on the wish um, uh, bounce in the morning, didn't bounce. Let's see. Remember oh, wish. The, okay, let's pull that out. I, I did the first bounce shit, didn't fucking work out. So. Okay, that makes sense. So this was, this was here. I'm going to show you the chart again for those that are not in MIT. Wow. These are solid, dude. So when the bounce didn't work guys, we followed trend back down and shorted it. I love it. I love it, dude. I mean, what? it's just, it's just pure process, man. So what happened was, you know what, man, I tried a first bounce and the first bounce was under VWAP. So I, you know, I should have known. But the fact that I, I was so cognizant to not keep adding to a loser and loser, I mean, you know, these are small sizes I keep adding, but you know, so I ended up losing like on this account, thousand dollars on the long side, which is not bad. I made up like, I made 2.5 times more on the, the short side. Right. So, ah, fuck AMED, son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> You're not in, are you? I want it. Oh shit. Oh dude. Uh, uh, I knew it, but it's all good. It's all good. Ooh, that's the rug pull too. Uh, Yikes. See, man. Wow, I sacrificed for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was a thousand dollars. I would have been on that shit all day long, but I didn't want to <laughs> Oh my god, that was it. That was honestly, guys, think about that. One thousand share position, which Bao usually uses on the channel trading on something like this with a little bit of range, right? That's a two thousand dollar trade in one candle just using the lines. We showed you guys the lines. That's crazy. It's 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 let me show you once again, man. So, I mean, I, I don't know what to tell you guys. This is, I mean, the lines fucking work. It's not just the lines, guys. It's the process around the lines. It's the risk management. You see these guys blowing up because they don't have a proper risk management. Part of the process is risk management. So, you, you saw a lot of live training today. So, today was a good example. Last week, remember, we, uh, last, actually, that was the last time I lost a big one. Last yeah. week. And that was during the webinar, too. 
Dude. And so what I did now is I locked up my thing. I became very cognizant of share size. I became very aware of float. Last week, I got clobbered on cost, K-O-S-S. Yep, because it was uh, overconfidence, right, Val? You said you were killing it that day. You were killing it for like I, six I, months. I, I didn't fucking – I forgot to check the float. You know, float was fucking $2 million. Why about fuck I was in fucking that much size, right, on a fucking 30-something dollar stock. That's a meme stock. So well, ever since there, I just kind of like, I'm not touching these meme stocks. I'm going to go back to my bread and butter. And I, you know, I went back to my process guys. So that's the whole thing. If you're losing, if you're making money all the time on a certain type of stock and then you deviate from that stock because you think, you know, you're the shits and now you're going to go fight Mike Tyson instead of fighting these little wimpy guys, you know, you get beat up. And that's what happened. You know, it's like, dude, these meme stocks kick my ass. So now I'm back to what I do well, which are these little fucking small cap pieces of shit that's pumping up. You know what, Bell? I actually, I actually titled the video today. Uh, can you still make money trading these meme stocks after today? What do you think? Let's should we talk about Clove and AMC and BB? Like, what oh, do you, you can always make you can always make money on any stock you want, man. If you choose the right lines, if you do the right things, you follow the right process. But why? Why? They're fucking hard as fuck. The range on AMC is like three dollars for a fifty-two dollar stock. Seriously, it's not fucking worth it. Look at look at AMD. Look at these other stocks I'm trading. Percentage wise, it's less risk as well. I make more money. And I don't. I have a thirty thousand dollar account. I got how many fucking shares of AMC am I allowed to trade? Yeah, especially if they cut out the margin. You know, not many. Yeah. What am I gonna do? Ten shares of GME? <laughs> 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 so I mean, that's the thing. I mean. Sure, I can trade these stocks, but I mean, it's not worth it for me to spend all day trying to fucking fight a $3 move on AMC on 500 shares, right? Right. Right. So that's the whole thing. So, you know, you, you basically find your niche, guys. Uh, the key with small caps is they are violent. If you're in AM lead long, you're fucked unless you have a hard stop. And what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? So the reason why I don't long AMD towards this end of the day is because it's under VWAP. What was the VWAP? The VWAP was 1053. Well, it's kind of, it's kind of over. So this, in my opinion, it was a, it was a good no trade guys. AMD could have went either way. It could have broke 12 bucks and hit 15 bucks. Or it could have tanked like this. There's no way you would know. So what I did was I did the correct thing guys. I, you know, if this thing had spiked over 12, it would have triggered a lot of stop losses. Um, and then it could have hit 13, 14 bucks. So then if that happened, if that scenario happened, I'd be like, Oh, I'm the fucking genius. I stopped in time, but now it tanked. And I'm like, oh, I suck. I should have stayed in. So, but th take a look at the time. It's fucking almost 3:30, dude. There's no way I should be in this stock at all. It's better to not be in a trade than to be fucking in a trade gambling when you have no idea the direction. So pull up that thing again to Tosh A E M D. Yep, take right a here. look at the fucking VWAP at that time. Yeah, I'm gonna post it right now too. Right here, guys. But that, that's what the blue line is for anybody. Look, at, look at the time I, 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 I covered. It's well over VWAP, bro. And look at the time, the clock. Fucking 3.30 is coming, hell no. And look at it spike up and it spike down. Guys, when you wanna understand time-based trading, draw your lines. Literally draw your lines when you lose the edge. This is technically, what, this line right here is technically when the short edge actually gets eradicated. So where did Bow cover? Right when he realized that he's technically going to lose the edge. Now with trading, nothing is a certainty of 100% and doesn't mean a stock can't still drop, but there's a better percentage of a stock squeezing during this time, this last power hour, garbage hour, whatever you want to call it, versus breaking down. But again, it, it, it's kind of it's kind of a crapshoot, right? And we don't like trading crapshoots. We like look, trading yeah, crapshoot things. Let's take a look at my chart. I mean, dude, the last time I covered was well over VWAP. There's, how nope. the hell am I supposed to? This is a prey. If you're fucking praying for this collapse, this may come once every 10 times. Yeah, literally. You know? So the guys are fucking bailed out and are happy as shit, but that's bad habits, man. I'd rather take <laughs> a fucking manageable loss. And If this thing I broke 12 bucks, those guys are dead meat, man. Yeah, dude, if, if, if you saw this drop and you're like, oh, thank God, you're not trading correctly. <laughs> you're just not, dude. So the fact, this is all hindsight shit, right? We're like, I'm pissed because I'm not in it, but, you know, I did the right thing, man. I covered up and it was over VWAP. What, you know, it's 3 o'clock coming, 3.30 coming. It's true. And, and, and this is what we're talking about right here. Thank you, Hopper. Dude, AMC right now 
is squeezing during the time that stocks squeeze. This is when the short edge eradicates in the last hour you get oh, this shit, type yeah. of bullshit. Yeah, yeah, man. Look at this AMC. Holy shit. What time is the squeeze, Tosh? Bingo. Dude, during the time where we teach you guys to stay safe, man, it's not worth it. That's the whole point. I'm telling you guys, you, you overcomplicate this because you don't know things like time-based trading. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. If VWAP reclaimed and it just took off. So same thing with this fucking AEMD. Who the fuck knows? It could have tanked. It could have went over 12 bucks. So my whole point is like, I don't fucking know. I'd rather just, you know, I'm not going to lose. I'm not going to. The thing is this, man. Making that extra little $500 is not going to make my day. But what's going to kill my day is the fact that I'm, I'm trying to make that $500 and get squeezed for $5,000 loss. Correct. Correct. Yeah, because that, that's what it is, Bao. It's that's one of those situations where you fight counter time-based trading and you're and you're really going for like a five hundred dollar scalp. And then dude, it could literally be like the it, it loss of like twenty five hundred dollars or three grand. You're like, man, I was just trying to make five hundred bucks, but you that's get your time. You know why? It's because you got rewarded by breaking rules. You got rewarded by bad habits. Right. And when and I'm gonna post something right now, man. When you break your rule, you usually make the minimum. When you break a rule and lose you usually lose the maximum. So it's not fucking worth it, guys. Yeah, keep greed is just happen. never worth it, guys. Seriously. Greed is never worth it. Keep it. Keep, bro, keep the same process. Do not break the fucking rule. Sure, I can make it an extra 500 bucks. But the next time I get clipped, it could be fucking 10 times the worst level loss. Same thing. That's what happened last fucking week, man. I got away with breaking rules. The next thing you know, I fucking gave it all back and more. That's so true, man. It's so true. Now, were you were you posting something you said or what's that? Oh, I thought you were posting something. Sorry. Oh no, here, here I'm going to post something. Here. Oh okay. So here, it's just, this is a revenge training thing, but it, it's it's basically about the same rule. Just just the last four. I always remember that when you break a rule, you win. You often only win the minimum. When you break a rule of flips, you will likely lose the maximum. I hate how true that is because, dude, do you know how many years that that was like literally like dude the first three years that was so fucking true for me, bro. Yeah, we don't realize it, man. Because you know what, man? Until someone spots it out, I didn't realize this as well. Because I'm like, dude, I make my money breaking rules all day long. But when I'm making money, it's only at 500 bucks. When I'm losing, it's like $5,000, right? <laughs> Seriously. And then you're calling up your broker. You're like, remove my max loss. Remove my max loss. I'm going to make this. I'm going to make it. And then people get bailed out of AMD, and they think they, they can do it again. And then they blow up the next one, man. So I did well today. I made over five figures with another count, but I'm good. <laughs> um, Solid. That's a sick day. I mean, it's the same day, same process, keeping the same process. You know, we can do this every day, guys like this. If we, if we don't get greased, the reason why I, I tightened up is because of that loss last week, Tosh. Well, and, and dude, that's understandable, you know, because the thing that we teach at MIC guys is when you hit a max loss or you hit maybe a couple days in a row or a couple days worth, it's all about getting back to basics. Like, dude, remember if you guys go back and actually watch the last webinar that we did Wednesday, Bao said he hit a max loss. And then dude, what was mine and Alex's advice to him for the next couple of days? Dude, no day ones, do what you're amazing at, do the thing that you never lose at, do the low hanging fruits and go small. And that's what Bao did and now he's kicking ass. So it's all about getting your mental, it's all, it, it, dude, it's all about getting back to process. What works, what works, go back to what works. I will show everybody that video. <laughs> I did. I just did. It's good. Look at, here, I'll play it again. Here, I'll play the sound. Video on that. The last time that I tried this, and I haven't seen this done with any other sodas before, and I just don't think it's going to be as crazy. <laughs> it's great. I love what she says. No, 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 not again. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, man. When you break a rule and you think it's going to turn out differently, oh, my God. How many times have you fucking tried to stick your, stick your toe in the water and a fucking alligator down your fucking balls? Dude, <laughs> the the amount of cars I could buy with the with the reclaim money that I could get back from oh, those. Oh my god, man! You know how much, how much money I lost the last half hour? All all these. Oh times. fuck, dude! You'd have a fleet of Lamborghinis by the end of the day, dude. 
So it's fine. It's like, you know, it's, it's, this is conquering your fucking human emotions. Correct. Like, oh, I should have fucking nailed it. It's not after a while, guys. It's not about the money. It's just, it's the adrenaline. It's the fact that you want to get it right. It's, it's, the, it's the same thing with a slot machine. You re, that, that's why these guys are addicted to slot machines in Vegas. It's the reward system in your head, the adrenaline and all that stuff, right? Yep, 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 yep. You guys got, you see, the, the, the thing that I love about FOMO or greed, because there is a way to curb it. There, there, like, just like anything, there's pros and cons, right? Like there's a dark to the light and there's a light to the dark. Is dude, find a way to channel out all that bullshit that's gonna affect you in trading. I don't care if it's video games. I don't care if it's in a relationship. Find another outlet for your FOMO and greed and take it out of the market. There are ways to like healthily get it out of your system. Even in trading, bro, what about, what do we talk about all the time? Even Alex does this. It's have, a, have an account where in the morning in pre-market, if you have to trade something, bro, I'm not kidding, throw 20 shares at something, make $5 and you got it out of your system because it's, it's not the money. It's, I have to engage, I have to engage, I have to engage, I have to engage. And it's the, it's the emotion behind that, that it. That is, that's why, you, that's why you over-trade. That's why you bleed all your fucking money back. It's, it's kind of like, what the fuck am I doing? It's, 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 the, it's the fucking drug, man. After you start trading well, it's like a fucking drug. Yeah, and yeah, it's not money. It's, it's, I have to be engaged in this thing. I have to be a part of it or I feel like I'm dying, right? Like, that's it's why anxiety like, from, it's the FOMO, it's the, you know, it's all that stuff, man. It's the, what, what, is, what is that fucking thing, that, that chemistry thing in your head that gives you a, it's like not morphine, but it's kind of like. A, serotonin? Ser, it's not serotonin. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, um, Fuck, I'm trying to... Dopamine. Dopamine, there. dopamine, that's right. Yeah, so that's that's how I feel, man. It's like, you know, man, when I nail this shit, I'm like, oh my God, I feel so fucking good. Um, yeah. yeah, so... So, so it's like a drug after a while, guys. That's why you have a you have to have a community. You have to fucking walk outside. You can't just be degenerate like I... You know, the reason I'm here is I'm trying to educate the room. If, to be honest, man, I fucking don't want to be here. <laughs> I made my money. Actually, I do want to be here. I do want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Val, Val has this inner conflict where he's like, I want to be here, but I don't. But I want to be here. Dopamine and adrenaline. Dopamine and adrenaline. Like, Dude, yeah, um, Val, you, Val you, know, you know what's funny about the dopamine rush? So, like, I actually read articles about this, and I tried it. And, dude, I did this for a year straight. So, check this out. Dude, I'll give you guys one of my secrets to getting rid of FOMO and getting, ri getting that dopamine rush while trading but not trading. So, I'm really, really, like, I've always been fucking obsessed with those god dang Call of Duty games. I just, like, every time one comes out, dude, I have to beast on it for, like, two weeks, and then I'm done, right? I get it out of my system. But back when, years ago, I haven't done this in years, but... When I used to have a really bad problem with, with trading FOMO, in the mornings, I would play while I was watching on a laptop that I couldn't pull the trigger on, I would play a Call of Duty game while I would watch charts from a sighting or like almost my peripheral to get the fucking dopamine rush, dude, that wasn't in trading. I would force myself to play video games so I didn't put it in the market. And dude, it worked. So I'm not saying you guys should do that, but I'm just saying find another outlet for your FOMO and getting that dopamine kick because that game specifically is one of those games that is is congruently like dude it's statistically proven that you're going to get a dopamine kick and you're going to want to go again and go again it's like trading it's like trading that's so why I, I tried to find an outlet for this pre-market fucking FOMO that I had dude it was it was like deadly so it's just funny. Like, it's just a funny story. But the point is, is guys, find an outlet for the things that are going to hinder your trading and do it elsewhere as long as it's not detrimental to your life. Because, because if you bring it to trading, you're just going to tread water for the rest of your life as a trader. You're going to make some money, give it right back. Make some money, give it right back. Mike Tran, I play online chess when waiting for my job. Dude, that's awesome. That's what I'm talking about, man. If that's going to alleviate your FOMO or give you that dopamine kick that you need while not risking real money, do it, dude. Everybody's got a different process around certain things. Seriously. Mine was Call of Duty. Whatever. Whatever it is. Let's take questions. Yeah. Anybody got some questions for there's us? There's a question on YouTube. How do you sign up, Tosh? Uh, oh, okay. Well, the first thing you're going to do if you want to sign up is you're going to text my 213-458-5997 number. Uh, we can discuss, guys. I'll, I'll let you know about all the options, the pricing, how to get in. Just contact me. That's the best way to get started. And then we, you, you can ask any questions that you have, literally. Right here, guys. Just literally, here, I'll, I'll pull it up. One sec. Just screenshot this. This is all you need. You guys have any questions about trading? 
<laughs> Tosh, how are you so good looking? <laughs> Am I? <laughs> like, I don't know, dude. <laughs> I would definitely not consider myself that, but thank you. I appreciate you, Midtown. Half off sale running on the website. <laughs> Alex. Oh, shit. Alex, did you extend that? Oh, dude. Wow. Lucky viewers, man. Oh, we haven't taken this down yet. All right. So, hey, for those cats in this webinar, you lucked out, man. I, I didn't even realize this was still up. So it looks like we have like maybe a day or two left of this. Guys, you're getting the best deal possible, man. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Weren't you guys going to explain how Bow and Alex became tabs? Oh, you know what, Xander? Uh, we actually have a whole podcast on that. So we're going to leave you guys to watch the podcast. Um, so that, that'll definitely explain that. Alex posted the link. Uh, let's see, where are we at? Uh, just scroll up, Xander, you'll see the link, but Alex posted, there we go. The After Hours podcast will explain the entire journey of Bow and Alex and how they grew together, how they met each other. It's, it, it's a really good podcast. Took advantage of that half hour. Nice. When is the Hinge Bootcamp series coming out? Dude, I've got so many Hinge girls on my line, bro. I can't even keep up. I'm about to give someone else my login password because I can't handle it anymore. I went down the rabbit hole too far. <laughs> I'm going to create a service for you guys on how to create a hint profile. Oh my God. <laughs> now, which, which one are you on? Tinder, Bumble? Which one you got? Nothing. No one, no one fucking matches me unless I put fucking I'm rich and I'm about to die. I need, I need an heir. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I think I matched with you last week when you put that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh my God. Lonely rich guy, no, no, no heirs, no, no, heirs. no, <laughs> no prenups, no heirs, no ex-wives, no kids, and posting Ferraris and Lamborghinis, and dude, oh my God, hold on, I'm gonna see if I'm gonna try to find that meme. It's the best meme of all time. But hold on, let me see if I can find one for you guys. Guys, get your get your questions in, man. Get your questions. We're here to help you guys, not just create hinge profiles. Bad heart. <laughs> <laughs> Bad heart. Cholesterol through the fucking roof. Yep. <laughs> Don't worry. Not, not into sex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm doing hook all night. Hey, I got to make my PDT money somehow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when Bow, when Bow hits his max loss, he goes out and hooks on the street at 12 in the morning off for a Z. Do what it fucking takes. I'm not fucking joking. Do what it fucking takes, man. As long as you don't hurt other people, do what it takes. You know what, man? Tom Diesel drove an Uber because he does not look like that. <laughs> Bro, on the real, Tom Girl, Diesel is... Girl, girls have a huge advantage to get over PDT. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously, dude. Bro, Alex and I talk about it all the time, man. If we look like Kate Upton, bro, we'd be rich as fuck on OnlyFans. <laughs> Sorry, Tom. <laughs> if, if, if you're a female man, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure you'd be many ways easier to make money. <laughs> I don't judge, man. I don't fucking judge. Anybody want to fucking make some PDD money looking good, call me. <laughs> Any questions, guys? Guys, questions, questions, YouTube, questions. YouTube. I mean, this shit works, guys. I mean, I, the guys on YouTube not joining. I mean, I don't understand why you're not joining. I just showed we just showed you every fucking shit. Showed you the account. Showed you everything. You need. This, this is pretty much, you know, get rid of your fucking scanner, guys. If you're having a scanner, you're not in MIC. Get rid of your freaking scanner. We post a scanner every day here. Dude, scanners are the most useless tool a trader has because you don't need it if you're in MIC. Dude, we are the fucking scanner. No, <laughs> Midtown's no. the scanner. John's the scanner. The I'm the scanner. How, how are you going to make money off of a scanner? How? Okay, so you see these stocks move. How the hell are you going to make money off of them? You're not fucking end up chasing losing money. You know? I don't look at my scanner after the market opens. I'm only looking at my scanner when I wake up to try to create a trading plan. My rule is this. If the stock starts moving and I have not prepared a plan, I will not trade it. Hey, wow. Is it, this is like a Tinder <laughs> profile. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the answer is how many Bitcoins John have. <laughs> or better, she has all the Bitcoins now. <laughs> <laughs> she has all the Bitcoins. <laughs> <laughs> that is the greatest freaking. Oh, man, dude.
Dude, do what it takes, guys. Don't, you know, stop buying fucking stupid shit. Save your money. I mean, seriously, how much money have you wasted? In one year, I guarantee you, you can save enough money to trade. And during that year, you'll be learning. So when you join, it's to learn. It's not to make money right away. You, doctors take 12 years. And I made more in one day than most doctors are probably going to make, right? Within that four hours of trading. So, so I mean, dude, and no stress, you know, you do this right. So the point is, you know, doctors take 12 years and you guys, you guys don't want to put a year into this. I mean, put a year into your education, put two years in your education. And then, then when you become consistently proper, my God, man, it's, it's just game over. By the way, guys, by the way, um, I, I, just, I just want to show you on, on an incremental standard, kind of like a cinch by the inch thing, how much you're underestimating the little paper cuts a day that you spend. Guys, think about it like this. Think about it like this. $20 a day saved that you don't spend on stupid shit, dude. $7 lattes you don't need, Hulu, all this shit you don't need. $20 times 365. Do you know what that is? It's $7,300 at the end of the year. That's a trading account, dude. That's a trading account that get you, get you started for the next hundred years of your trading career, however long you're going to live. Like you guys don't under, like, dude, how many members posted in here earlier that they have $2,500 to their name, $5,000. And that may be the start to what, dude, Alex started with a $2,000 account. He sold his fucking rims, dude. Like we're not making this shit up. Wow, cough, Calvin Coffee said so he spent four thousand in a freaking scanner. Jeez. Wait, what? After, after? Oh, I didn't see. After seeing, I spent four. Oh my God, bro! Seriously, oh, why can't we be in the scanner business, <laughs> dude? Dude, Midtown. I have been here for nearly a year and so, and starting to get it. It's all worth it. Thanks, you, Bradley, for getting me in, dude. Midtown is a perfect example of someone who came in, like, like floundered in the beginning, got some, got some progress, went back a little bit, and now, dude, he's like really consistent. He's like getting on his ground. Uh, I tell you guys. So the, the, it. Uh, the key the key is this now midtown the key <clears throat> is this, guys is the fact that you are consistent but being consistent doesn't mean profitable if one of your losses wipes out correct things. correct so this is why we talk about hard stuff this is why we have max daily loss you correct. guys need to put in that max daily loss guys you guys are you, you guys have not earned the right not to well because because guys even remember alex, when alex the other day was like you know what, man my stop loss is way too big I'm, you know, he's banking, but the, you know, he's like, dude, I'm going to move it back down. So that, that's the whole thing. It's, 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 it's the fact that these stop losses help you because we're human, man. And what's going to happen when you start losing, you're going to start making excuses why you should still be in the trade. You're going to find reasons to keep revenge trading. And so sometimes you need to say, hey, enough, enough, stop it. This, this is why boxing matches have fucking mercy rules, right? You fucking throw in the towel, three knockdown rule. You get knocked down three times in boxing. The, the fight is over. How many times are you going to get up and get knocked down again? Dude, right? dude, Bao, not even that. Not even that. When you land a good punch and the guy looks wobbly, why do you think they send in the referee to say, don't fucking kill this guy, dude? Like, yeah. let me, give yep. him a second. Yep, take a timeout. They fucking walk around. They can breathe her. Whereas trading, okay, I'm fucking down 10,000. Oh, fuck, let me go all in now. I lost yeah. Yeah, There was no referee in that certain instance. Like... <laughs> Even the market has a, a trading volatility halts, volatility halts to take time out. So you should be able to do that too, man. Yeah, correct. Correct. And that's what hard – guys, remember at the end of the day, win rate, I don't give a fuck about win rate. I care about consistency and risk management. A newcomer who's not an MIC could join first day and be like, Tosh, I'm the shit. Teach me what you know, but check it out. I've got a 90% win rate. I go, are you profitable? That's the first question. Because just because you have a 90% win rate doesn't mean you don't adhere to hard stops or what Val was talking about. Okay, okay, you have a 90% win rate, and then you freaking, you're green for 30 days, and that 31st day, you lose more than three months of gains. Bro, it doesn't matter shit. It doesn't matter shit. So you can brag like you got the big dick of the town and maybe you do, but dude, at the end of the day, do you want to make money or do you want to look cool? Cause there's a very big difference, bro, between, um, between profitable and you, well, well, I'm sorry, being well, right. And how, being do, how do I get both, Josh? My dick <laughs> works great, but it's not big. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help you there, pal. <laughs> oh, no, man. but all, honestly, guys, as you see, man, it's, it's how you work it, guys. Seriously, everybody's gonna tell you how you work it. It doesn't matter your account size, whatever, man. I, 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 I would challenge every motherfucker who out there to a training challenge with thirty thousand dollars account. <laughs> Bro, nobody would show up to you, Val. Nobody would show up. 
like like we'll have the Floyd Mayweather and Logan Paul match, but Val and all the Furus, and that will be the only person in that stadium. Nobody will show their thirty five thirty five thousand dollars. No fucking sheep. Put it on fucking stage for charity. How amazing would that be? Dude, for charity, literally, in, in t- no matter what you make is for charity. We'll do a week out of it. I mean, dude, just do one day. <laughs> <That's just laughs> yeah, they would buy a stock and go, why doesn't the stock go up? <laughs> They'd be like, I don't understand. The minute I buy it goes down. Yeah, because you bought a liquid piece of shit. And now you don't have a room full of sheep to pump it in front run. Seriously, dude, I would love those guys to fucking trade without a fucking room full of sheep. Let's fucking do it. I would give them odds. <laughs> Dude, I swear to God, bro, all we'll do is put – we'll pit Bao in a ring versus every known furu and have a trade-off and it all goes to charity. And guess what? Dude, nobody will show up and, and go against Bao. Who, who's trading without pumps and alerts? I think You MIC, guys know where the only one. We bro, created MIC very special on purpose, guys, because we want you to learn. We don't want you to chase me. No, not chase me, right? You guys are learning on your fucking own. I'm, I'm making all these trades about you. You know I'm in the trade. But you suspect I'm in the trade. That's a beautiful part. You know? Fucking um, whoever said, I bet you Bowser in the $11 line. Exactly. I, I am fucking in the $11 line. You know, like, you learned how to trade. Correct. You learned how to do it. So, so that's all thing, man. We, we, we are here not to fucking boost my own piggy bank. You don't think I can make more money by fucking learning and pumping and shit like that? But we don't do that. We want you guys to learn, guys, because I can make money on my own without MIC, without having a chat room, without having to be on the internet. Well, I need the internet to trade, obviously, but. <laughs> Dude, for real. Oh, my God. Now, what would you think about the Logan the Logan and uh, Floyd Mayweather exhibition? I know Alex was at it, dude. That was so sick. Yep. So, any questions, guys? Let's just finish this so we can go on with our lives. Does yeah. anybody even have any questions? <laughs> I'm just happy. I don't care how much people make more than me or less than me. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people make more than me. I'm pretty sure. I'll, you know. So I, I mean, I'm, I'm glad that I'm able to teach people. I have really no ego about that because if 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 I really wanted to, I could put fucking a million dollars in the account and fucking make money. But that's not my uh, objective right now, right, guys? So I make money in other ways, right? So um, I bore myself at night, whatever I need to do. Right? But uh, but the, the point is, guys. The point is, get rid of your ego. My goal is to be the guru's guru. Right, I've taught, so now Alex is the fucking big guru guy. I'm fucking glad that I have a part in it. I, I've trained so many people. I've mentored so many people. So I'm your guru's guru. I'm fine with that. That's, you know, my, my objective now is not to fucking, you know, be the biggest guy out there. My whole thing is like get into coaching, shit like that, right, guys? Because I, I, I mean, like, Tom Brady is going to eventually going to retire. He's not going to be fucking playing anymore. So, I mean, I'm not, the, I'm not saying I'm the best in the world. I, I, but I, what I'm, in my opinion, what I'm best at is educating people i can truly say that i think i'm one of the best educators out there i mean i make the most money which i obviously i would never compete at that level anymore i used to i used to be the biggest guy you know uh, now my goal is to be the best educator out there my goal is to create an army an army of people that change the world pay it forward army that and the fish academy army well, and the, th- and the thing that we pride ourselves, guys, are, are, is, th- is the ability to be real with you, right? Like, and, I, and I should say this. I want to I lead off with what Val just said about him training Alex. We don't want you guys to be, try to be the next Alex. Very few people, dude, in this lifetime are going to have a $700,000 p and in one day. It's very hard to get to that level. But, dude, you're telling me we can't teach you how to make $500 a day, maybe $1,500, and create a career and freedom for yourself in something you may love? Be the best version of yourself. Don't try to be Alex. Don't try to be Bao. Don't try to be Midtown. Don't try to be me. Be the best you. And if, you, if we can teach you how to supplement or fully replace your income, remember how much it adds up. $200 a day, dude, is like 50 k a year, bro. I think, right? I think I got that right. The yep. people- I mean, that's that shit. I mean, I don't know if, if that doesn't motivate you. I don't know what else will, guys. I mean, yeah, like literally, what? I mean, we, we, I mean, that shit works, guys. The, the longer you wait, guys, I, I, we had so many people joining. I wish I joined earlier. We yeah. don't fucking, we really don't need, we don't really don't need you to join to make money, guys. You know, we, we, I don't do this because I need your $200 a month, to be honest. <laughs> I would gladly take it because I'm going to help you, but it doesn't mean like we need it. Dude, well said. Well said, man. 
Cool, guys. All right, so hit up Tosh, and let's go back to the room, and I think I need to eat. Have guys, last thing right here, just I'll end it with this, 213-458-5997. Two, uh, Come see how we do. Uh, I'll get you situated in the club, and just know, man, this is a family, man. We're all after the same goal. There's no hierarchy. There's no judgment. There's no – dude, it's just – we're just all here to have fun and make money, man. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, because to be honest, imagine, imagine you know, like, like Ash shows a $500,000 account. It fucking sounds amazing, but how can you relate to it? Can you learn from it? <laughs> right? That's, that's the whole point. So that, that's my whole point. My whole point is like, yeah, I mean, I, I have some big days. So I don't need to fucking show you all the time. You, you don't know what I'm making most of the time. I wanted to show you that, you know, on Wednesdays that, you know, because I want to show you this because it's, it's, it's a big motivation when you see a small account like yours making the kind of money that you wish you could make. And you can make that. And you can make bank. That's that's the whole point. That that goes to show about how bad we are at marketing. Because how many twenty thousand dollar days have you had that we never post? <laughs> that's the point, guys. We don't give a shit. Dude. It's just about to be real. The day. I mean, that's not, that's not you know we, you know you don't see a fucking Ferrari out of me. You don't see a fucking Lambo. Alex drives a Lambo every day. You know we live a nice place. We don't need a fucking. And most don't even know that, by the way, about Alex. Don't most need to don't make even videos know that. Most going shopping, fucking figuring out what shirt to wear. And you ain't fucking. <laughs> Dude, for real, I, I'm telling Anyways, you, guys. My goal, my brag is this: I want you guys to be so fucking good that you brag for me. So I love it when Alex shows these giant females. That says a lot. And when I see Midtown because uh, show these charts, when I see Xander at 17 years old, when I, you know, th those are my bragging rights, man. I want to see you guys succeed. And that, in return, is my bragging rights. We're here to create a legacy of an army of wonderful traders who can then pass down a generational blessing to the next gen, then to the next. And then Bao's legacy will live on 200 years later. Yeah. I'm not going to last point. much longer at my rate. I'm not going to last longer. So my whole thing is <laughs> I wanted to give, give, share my knowledge so that one day maybe I will be remembered went long after I'm gone from the source, right? And remember, and remember, ladies, his his Tinder profile says bad heart, no heirs, no kids, single. <laughs> Generous. <laughs> Generous. <laughs> High cholesterol. <laughs> Go get it. <laughs> no, but, but in all actuality, guys, thank you so much for attending. We do this every single week. We'll see you next week. And if you have any questions, just hit me up, man. Great, great, great one, guys. Great webinar. Thanks, guys. All I'll right. See you. see you guys. See you, Bell. See you, buddy.